In the last episode, our back-to-back -back starts in La Liga for the first time in 2017, but it wasn't enough for Luis Enrique to pick me for a third successive time. He left me out in a game against Atletico Madrid here in quite a big one at the new Camp. Thankfully, though, the team still managed to get the job done without me as we picked up another win and remain top of the table. As you can see, this season has been a little bit stop-start. I haven't played as many games as I would have liked to have done so. Obviously, that two-month injury certainly didn't help. But regardless, 20 games played so far in all competitions, four goals and 14 assists. It's not bad, that's 18 direct contributions to 20 goals, that's not too bad whatsoever, even though our minutes have been quite limited this year. Also look at my accomplishments and my stats as well as you would have seen them just there. It's not been too bad this season despite that injury and despite limited minutes, I still feel as though I've done okay in most of the games I've played. Regardless, 10 games remaining in La Liga, as you can see we are 1 point clear of Real Madrid and 5 points clear of Atletico who we just beat in 3rd place, so I think if anyone's going to win the title this season it will be between those 3 teams. We're trying to pull away from both those Madrid clubs, but it's not too easy. We've got Real Madrid in the, uh, the Copa del Rey final as well. And in the Champions League round of 16, we're one goal down to Bayer Leverkusen after one leg. Needing to get the job done the new camp in the second leg. We take on Valencia though for the first game of today's episode here. I'm back in the side for a league game. Hopefully putting in a really good performance here. And of course helping the team get a win. But I feel like I need a good performance too. For once the job isn't going to be all about getting a, uh, getting a result with a team. I need to get a good performance individually in this game, get myself a goal, an assist or something to show Luis Enrique I deserve to get my place back in the first team I'm not a reserve player, I deserve a spot in the starting first 11 I got some space to turn, I'll give it to Suarez and Suarez give and go here mate, thank you very much down the left hand side, I'll try and turn the man here, I got the pace on him as well and this is a really good chance here for 1-0 possibly because I'm inside the area, I'm going to shoot and that's a great save by Zila and turn behind for a corner, I thought Suarez and Delafair were both marked there happened so quickly and a good save by the goalkeeper, first chance coming to us but a good stop by the German and it's going to be crossed in by Delafeu to the centre, misses everyone, Suarez's header finds the back of the net and it's 1-0 to Barcelona, Luis Suarez with the goal, really good header and we do open the scoring here right from the beginning, I don't know why I went for the bicycle kick there, completely unintentional, but either way, what a header by Suarez, finding the top corner, that, that's a brilliant header, like seriously, that is a brilliant header by Luis Suarez and we take the lead, so I possibly could have passed to him for that shot which Zila saved, but... Clearly, I didn't need to because he was going to score from the corner. 1-0 to Barcelona. Not getting a goal or an assist for it, but even so, perfect start. We take the lead here. Here's Matic. And he's forced back towards Mathieu. And I'll take it inside, mate. There we go. Simple passing for the minute. I've got Matic back in uh, space, but so Suarez. We always switches to and Now Matic to Delefeu. And a nice build-up here. Sees Gerard Delefeu on the ball, turning, shooting, and putting the ball just wide of the post. I think it's actually far wide of the post. But either way, nice build-up there, but still 1-0. Delafeu's throw, it will come to me, I've got space here to turn and possibly shoot if I want to or get myself inside, that's a penalty, that's a penalty right there, penalty to Barcelona and I won't get to take it and I, I don't get credit with the assist for winning penalties or, or free kicks that get scored, but either way, at least I've won a penalty and done something positive, got myself inside, could have shot first time but I thought instead I'll try and take him on, nice piece of skill and he lunges in and the referee has no hesitation in awarding a spot, so Luis Suarez will take it, hopefully to score it as well because even though I won't get credit with with the assist or anything and my rating won't get put up because of it it will still be nice to know I've contributed even though it won't get shown in the stats so Suarez against Ron Robert Zila Uruguay or Germany who's your money on Suarez scores sends Zila the wrong way and it's Barcelona 2 Valencia nil. so two goals up in the opening 30 minutes here and hopefully I mean there's still an hour's worth of football to play but hopefully we'll be getting ourselves another three points it's quite tight at the top right now we need to capitalize on these home games and keep on winning them with two goals up and Luis Suarez converts the penalty which I won as well so still an hour to play still need to hopefully get in a goal or an assist to show Luis Enrique that I deserve a chance back in the first team for an extended period of time again but either way good to get involved for that goal 2-0 Barcelona Parejo's throw is going to be going backwards towards the centre-back Ruiz and I'm going to try and shut him down and win it back for the team can I can I no can I win it back this time? Yes, there we go. Persistence pays off. Delafeu down to me, down the right-hand side. I'm going to try and turn Ruiz here with a quick little Berber spin. Away we go. Really good chance here to make it free. Drilling that cross to Neymar, who turns it in. And you can see I'm celebrating it like I've scored it myself because it's 3-0 to Barcelona. But for this goal, I'll get credited with an assist. We are three goals up. We are 
playing very, very well right now. And I've got the goal or the assist I felt I needed in this game to show Luis Enrique, listen, I know I've been underperforming, but put me back in the first team, coach. Don't let me rot in the reserves. I can contribute to this Barcelona team and I can help us win trophies. Great finish by Neymar there. Well, you couldn't really miss, to be honest, but either way, good feed to 3-0 Barcelona and his 15th of the season. So that is going to be the end of my game. I've requested a sub now. We've got a game against Leverkusen in midweek and I feel as though my performance has been good enough to at least question, uh, sorry, at least give Luis Enrique uh, the question as to whether he wants to play me in that game in midweek. I'm going to watch the rest of the game, see if anything happens. I'll try to conserve as much stamina as possible. So we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully Luis Enrique will give me a place in the game against Leverkusen in midweek. If he does, it will give me a great chance to try and solidify my place as a starter once again. But otherwise, I requested a sub for no reason. Anyway, we'll have to wait and see what happens here. I'll watch the rest of the game and uh, hopefully we might get one or two more goals. So in the end, we didn't get one or two more goals. The game did finish as that. Barcelona 3, Valencia 0. But still, a great individual performance by me in that game. For some reason, my rating plummeted after my substitution. When I got subbed off, I think I was on a 9.0. I ended up with 7.2. How on earth does that work? But either way, I still felt like I played really well in that game. I won a penalty with Suarez scored, and I also got an assist for Neymar's goal as well. Thought I played quite well, helped the team get a 3-0 victory in that game. And also, as you can see as well, it's a good thing I did sub myself off because Luis Enrique took note of my performance in that game and decided to pick me for this one against Bayer Leverkusen in midweek. It's a massive, massive game here in the Champions League round of 16. Last season with Manchester United, we had heartbreak at this stage. Wolfsburg, another German side, knocked us out. We're one goal down on aggregate. We need to get the job done in this second leg here at the new Camp. Make sure we don't concede an away goal. That'll mean we need to score three goals on the night. Get ourselves an early goal. That'll be really crucial. Get the ball rolling and hopefully turn this tie on its head. Taking on Leverkusen for the second and final game of today's episode. Needing to get the result. Otherwise, once again, I'll be out of the Champions League in the round of 16. And Gerald Piquet on the ball, turning, needing some support. Finds it in Busquets. And Busquets has Messi out wide. Still Sergio Busquets. Still Busquets. Whips and across to the far post. Teo controls. Also whips and across. Messi towards Jordi Alba. Towards uh, Pedro. Tackled it will fall to me. And that's a penalty. And that's a penalty to Barcelona. And I can't believe that. Pedro's won a penalty, but I thought that was a clean challenge. I thought that was a, oh, it's a red card as well. Oh my goodness. Son has been sent off for by Leverkusen, the Korean. I thought that was a good challenge. Did I not see that properly? Did I? That, that to me is a brilliant challenge. That's a great challenge in my opinion. Not a penalty and certainly not a red card. I mean, there may have been slight contact on the back of Pedro's legs before he won the ball. But to me, I thought he won the whole ball and then Pedro hit the deck. For me, that was a great challenge. I can't believe this, but we have a great chance to make it 1-1 on aggregate in the seventh minute for a penalty, which Messi's going to chip, you can tell. And he does make it 1-0 to Barcelona. We're not going to complain about it, but we have got some serious rubber to green right from the beginning. A penalty, which Messi converts. Son is sent off. Leverkusen are down at 10 men early on. It's the dream start. But it's a very, very fortunate start. I might have to watch it back. Maybe it was a penalty. I'm not too sure. But to me, the referee has just given us a brilliant chance of turning this game and this tie on its head. Messi converts the penalty. Leverkusen down to 10 men. 1-0 to Barcelona. What a superb start. Right, where to go with this ball? I've got some space here as Bender tackles me. Oh, no, 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 no. I do not want to see that. Come on, man. Come on, man. I've got to get up, surely. Do not want to have another injury this season, seriously. Come on, let's get back to the feet. There we go, there we go, much better. Get on your feet, son, and let's run that off. I am not having another injury. Oh, no, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, I don't want another injury. This is ridiculous. I already had one serious one this year with two-month injury. Jordi Alba, one final chance before the break. Maybe it'll come to me. I'll give it inside towards Rakitic. And Rakitic still turning, gives it back to me. And I'll shoot. And it's a great save by Leno. But Messi turns in the rebound and makes it Barcelona 2. Leverkusen nil. I've fallen on the floor. This is summing my game up. But it's 2-0 to Barcelona. Messi with his second goal of the game. I'm hobbling. I'm playing on one leg. But either way, the shot was well saved by Leno. A really good stop there. But Messi turns in the rebound and makes it Barca 2, Leverkusen. And they're down to 10 men. They've been put, in on, uh, put under pressure in this first half. We've got ourselves two goal. The tie has been turned on its head. The fans are celebrating because now we are 45 minutes away from a place in the quarterfinals. Well done, Messi.
And I think my game has just been finished here because Gutsu is coming on. And that is going to be it. My game is over and sadly, I'll play no further part. But we're two goals up now. Mario Gutsu is going to come on for me at half time. I have been hobbling since the injury. I was never able to run it off fully. And Luis Enrique sends for the German and I take a seat on the bench. So 45 minutes to go, I'll watch the rest of the game, see if anything happens. But as things stand, with Leverkusen down to 10 men and us two goals up, we should hopefully be getting ourselves through to the quarterfinal now. And even more hopefully, hopefully my injury won't be too serious. So after my substitution, I watched a game, but Bayer Leverkusen couldn't really create much. After going down to 10 men early on, they weren't able to get back in the game and the tie whatsoever. And that two-goal scoreline was how the game would finish as well. Barca 2, Bayer Leverkusen 0 on aggregate 2-1, and we are through to the Champions League quarterfinal. So delighted with that, but let's be honest here, we got a huge stroke of fortune with that penalty decision and, of course, the straight red card. So we're through to the Champions League quarterfinals, delighted with that, but, of course, the sad news was, again, another injury to yours truly. Unfortunately that injury is going to be a free week one and I'll be missing a couple of games of Barcelona. It's not too serious thankfully. I was a little bit worried it might be longer than that but a couple of league games I'll miss out on. It's not too bad and thankfully I should be fit enough to return for the Champions League quarterfinal ties and also the big Copa del Rey final against Real Madrid as well. But that does end the episode guys so thank you very much for watching the video. Really hope you have enjoyed it. If you enjoyed today's episode of My Player then please do leave a like. It's much appreciated. It really does help my channel out and I'll see you for the next episode of My Player very soon.